Hi, this is Mr. Anger, and we're going to talk about Geometry Pace 1109. Geometry 1109, that's the first one, and uh, I want to clarify just a couple of terminology, a couple of points, abbreviations that are used in geometry that sometimes, if you don't tune into them, can be confusing, okay? So the first one that I want to point out is the difference between the terms equal and congruent. Um, because it's first time maybe that you're really hearing that term congruent and it looks like it's saying the same thing, you know. Uh, this line segment is congruent to this line segment. And uh, you look at it and say, yeah, it looks like they're equal, you know, it looks like they're the same. Um, but equal and congruent actually have very, very, very different meanings in geometry. So the term congruent has to do with two geometric shapes being exactly the same, all right? So they're the same length, they're the same size, you could lay one on top of the other one, and it would be like a twin, all right? So they match, that is congruent. It has nothing to do with taking a, a, a protractor and measuring how many degrees it is, or taking out a ruler and measuring the length. There's no numbers associated with it. <clears throat> We're just talking about the shape is the same. That's congruent. The term equal refers to the numbers that are used to measure it. So an angle might be 66 degrees. Okay, so we would talk about this angle being equal to this angle. We say two right triangles, for instance, are equal, so they're both 90 degrees. We say they're equal because we're talking about the degrees in the triangle. Okay, so <clears throat> Equal has to do with measuring a shape and getting a number. Congruent just references the fact that the shapes are the same. Now, if we're talking about line segments, if we put the bar over top of AB, we are talking about the shape, okay? So if we're comparing AB with, let's say, line segment CD, and we say they are the same, we don't say they're equal, all right? Line segment AB does not equal line segment CD. If they are the same length, we would say they are congruent. And that's where we put the little tilde sign on top of the equals. And that refers only to the shape being the same. Okay? If we're talking about the actual length, the number that represents the length or of the line segment, then we would use AB without the bar on the top. All right? Seems like a subtle difference, and you might miss it at first. If we're talking about AB, the length of AB being equal to CD, then we don't put the bar over top, and we don't have the tilde, because we're, again, referencing the numbers. So two numbers can be equal, two shapes can be congruent. Okay, do you see the difference? Let's talk about angles here now. Let's jump down here first. We might talk about angle B two different ways. Angle B, without an M in front of it, is talking about the shape, okay? Identifying where it is in the diagram. Um, and maybe referring to the actual, you know, lines that make it up. That is angle B. But if we're talking about how many degrees are in angle B, okay, then we have to put an M in front of this. So we could say measure of angle B equals 90 degrees. I would not say angle B equals 90 degrees, but I could say angle B is congruent to, and maybe angle D, something like that, all right? I don't put the M in front of it if they're congruent. We're talking about the shape. If we're talking about the number, that's when we use the M. And the one last thing I want to point out is, and this is important for parents to know when they're grading a pace test as well, a lot of the angles will be in a more complex um, diagram and you're trying to choose a name, okay? Angle AOC is the same as angle COA. And let me demonstrate why. This would be referring to an angle where this is the vertex and maybe point A is here and up here is point C. So I can use either of these as the name of the one side and call it AOC, or I could call it angle COA, and that's 
that's fine, all right? Either one is naming the same angle, which is this space in between these lines, okay? But that is not the same as angle ACO, even though I'm using the same three letters. So it's really important that the letter in the middle be correct, because that is the vertex of that angle. That's the point where those two lines come together and meet. All right. So um, I just want to kind of point out those things a little bit. And um, yeah, I think I'll stop this video here. And we have another video that I want to do about page 22 in just a few minutes.